All right, Tyler, what do we got? All right, so the Bears on bye this weekend. Usually, over the last, what, five or so years, the bye week has sort of felt like relief. It has felt like a time <laughs> where we can unplug from the Bears' sadness of breath. what the season has been so far. But this year feels a little different. Does it feel like an empty weekend without Bears football this weekend for you, too? Not at all. Not me. really. I Not told really. you. I, don't know I told why. you. I actually love this weekend because I always feel like I can just take uh, take a look at the entire league and say, "Okay, what do we got? What's going on? Lock in on the rest of the league and see how it compares to the Bears and where they're at." And I'm more encouraged that I'm optimistic about where this Bears franchise is going. Yes. So, and it comes at a good time. They need to get their secondary healthy. Yes, absolutely. And then I look ahead and I look at the schedule and the way it lays out. You're going to Washington. You're going to Arizona, and then you've got the Patriots. So you get the bye week ahead of three opponents that are, you know, I know the commanders very will be beatable. tough, but very beatable. And so, and if the Bears have aspirations at the playoffs, I really think, listen, two and one would be nice, but I'm, I want them to go three and zero over the next three. Yeah, look, you need your defense, or you need your secondary guys. Did he just hit another dong? Oh, another. Oh, he let him know too. Pahes, Andy, Andy, Andy Pages with another dong, ten to five. Dodger's not going to die just yeah, yet. If, he, if Dave, what's his name, would have just taken his starting pitch here out when I said he should have. Old Dave Roberts, what's his face? Okay, uh, back to the, uh, back to, to get past the, the commanders and, and then the Cardinals. The Cardinals I, you know what? You need a really, a, a healthy secondary. So I think timing wise, I think this is a good opportunity for them to kind of catch their breath uh, in their secondary. Where do you, you feel got like, to get Stevenson back? You got to get Gordon back. Briska should be back, I would assume. Yeah. But, do you um, feel like it's a relief, Tyler, for you this week? Yeah. Because no, you, it's not really. Well, the one thing I will say is it is supposed to be beautiful this weekend. It might be like the last golfing weekend of the year, too. Ooh. So I am fully going to be taking advantage of that this you, weekend. You've, you've piqued Waddle's interest. Yeah. A warm Who golfing playing weekend. With this weekend. I have no plans yet. Oh, well, maybe gonna... maybe you and I will get out on the course together. Shoot me a text. Okay, I will. I'm not even. I'm just standing right here. You're not even going to extend an invite. You don't play golf. You don't play. At least be courteous and you say, don't, hey, "You don't play golf." Maybe maybe I'm not I gonna can start. I'm going to waste the offer. Kev maybe Bo, I you want to play. Start. You want to play this weekend, Kevbo? I also don't golf, but I do yeah. drink. Well, I'll buy you a twelve pack, and you can sit at <laughs> home and watch football and get hammered. How about that? I'll hold you to that as well. All right, what else you got, Tyler? Um, all right, looking across the rest of the league, I do want to dive into the Chiefs because what they have been so far this season, it really is an enigma because it is a team that has been overly dominant defensively with everything that Spags has done. And, and, and people Mahomes, don't realize, I think we do, but I think a lot of people don't realize that we've talked about it a bunch. They don't win that Super Bowl without their defense. Their defense has been fantastic for, sure. for the last... Two and years. It feels like the Chiefs have this formula now where the defense, you just keep us within a field goal, and then Patrick Mahomes is going to go out there. And for as bad as he has been for the bulk of like the first 55 or so minutes of a lot of these games, he's still the same guy that the same Patrick Mahomes that we know in the final five or so minutes of these games, certainly capable of leading a uh, game winning drive. Like we have seen so many times in the years past, but what have you guys made of what you've seen from the Kansas city chiefs so far this season, as they head into a game on the road against the Niners in a super bowl rematch? Uh, you know, I I'm still uninspired by them offensively. It's not fun to watch the chiefs the way it once was, you know, Mahomes is great. He's always capable of doing magical things, but he's got six interceptions this year. And, you know, you you take uh, Rashi Rice out of the mix. And oh, Juju Smith-Schuster found something last week against the Saints. He was wide open a lot of the times. He already is dealing with a hamstring injury. Now, Andy Reid said that he's hopeful that he's going to play on Sunday. But as soon as Juju Smith-Schuster showed that he could offer something, he immediately gets hurt. And that was the problem for him in New England. I don't know if they've got enough healthy receivers to beat the 49ers this week. That's why I like the 49ers on Sunday. I think somebody somewhere is going to get the, the Chiefs at some point. I think this is the perfect opportunity to pick against them. Yeah, I mean, look, it wouldn't shock me one bit if San Francisco got the bet of, bet, uh, the best of them. But again, I would highlight their defense. The opening game of the season, they gave up 20 points to Baltimore. And I know if Isaiah Lively gets his foot down there, but right, he didn't. 
Uh, Cincinnati Bengals, another high-powered offense, scored 25 against them. Atlanta, a high-powered offense, 17. They gave up 10 to the Chargers and 13 to New Orleans. I think this sets up perfectly for them. Defense leads the way until they can find a they can can, can kind of find their way offensively. Uh, I will never bet against Patrick Mahomes. And you've seen him play a little bit better the last two weeks, haven't you? He threw for 245 against the Chargers and threw for 331 against the Saints. Um, I, I just, think they'll get there. Again, though, didn't love what I saw Look, from the Chiefs in the red zone again. I think that's where things really kind of... And the interceptions fair. are yeah, very uncharacteristic. uncharacteristic right? But so. they have found a bit of a running game, have they not, with Hunt? Hunt had over 100 yards rushing against the... Saints against the Saints and had 69 nice against the Chargers. Of so course, like, yeah. I no. mean, they're getting their running game. They're getting something out of the running game. My, my biggest concern I would have right now. And I know that there aren't any real receivers for him to throw to that offensive line is not good on the edge. I think the combination, their, their right? tackles have not been good. Yeah. And we talked to Robert Mays on Wednesday and that was something that was really a concern for him. So I think the combination of the line struggling, and I don't like the receiving weapons that, Mahomes needs to rely upon. So I think a good opponent in the San Francisco 49ers finally, you know, if you have, you got to pick a loss, I think somewhere on the Chiefs schedule, I think this is a perfect time for it. That first loss for them. All right. In the division, the NFC North, the Detroit Lions have lost Aiden Hutchinson for the season. He is by far and away their best defensive player. Does it change at all who you think will end up on top of the NFC North? If they don't add somebody to kind of give them some some pass rush, some push, then I would say yes. But I I think they're going to be proactive. I think they're all in. If they so, don't, then who do you have? I would say the the Packers. I I agree. I'm picking. I'm still picking the Lions to win the NFC North and the. I think the Vikings are going to the I postseason. Was, so I, I mean, they're five and zero oh start especially when you look at, as you've pointed out, the rest of their schedule leads you to believe that they'll find another five wins over the next, what is yeah. it? It would be 12 weeks. I'll tell you what, I'm not picking them, but if I had to pick someone, I think I might lean towards the Bears to be the one that crashes the party. I, I think the Lions are still too good um, for the Bears to run them down this year, but I do really like the Bears defense, and I think the offense is on the come. So that combination, if I had to pick somebody in the NFC North, I might pick the Bears, but I don't think they're going to be good enough this year to do it. Oh, right. you're not picking the Bears. I'm not, but he asked me if I had to, not if I was picking someone other than the Lions, it so would you're be not the Bears. Picking, you're not picking the, the Packers. I'm not, I would no. I think so. The you're Bears, not picking anyone. That's I bet, what you're I have saying. The Bears, pe Bears over the. Uh, I think the Bears have the Packers number this year. I think the Bears are going to finish. Probably so you think seconds. it's going to be Lions, Bears, Packers, Vikings? I think it's going to be Lions, Bears, and then I'm not sure if I would take the Packers or Vikings just yet. I think I would probably pick the Vikings because they've got the head start, the two game head start on the on the uh, Packers right now. All right, last night's hero in the ALCS, John Kenzie Noel. Maybe the most notable thing Big about Christmas. him, his nickname, Big Christmas, like he said. I'd never heard that before for I him. I not either. Oh, um, yeah. Listen, if you run as deep as I do in fantasy baseball circles, you know who, you know all about Big Christmas. Anyway, love that nickname. Is it the best nickname in sports right now? Is Big Christmas, Joe Kenzie Noel. I'll tell you what. I say it's not because not if the fact that not enough people know who he is just yet. That's why I'm not going to give him. I give me some other suggestions. What am I comparing it with? Um, um, well, of course, Nikki Two Strikes. <laughs> Nikki Two strikes. should be Nikki Three Strikes. <laughs> that would be, of course, Nick Madrigal. Um, hmm. I, I, it's a good one. It's right up there. It's in the team photo. Big Christmas. I no, no. I do like it. I just think he needs to become more of a household name before we can give him the crown of the the best nickname in sports i'm i'm hard pressed right now nothing's jumping to mind but i think that's more yeah uh it's, you know it's a product of the on moment, friday not yeah. really necessarily that's 15 on friday my brain's not functioning correctly that's fair enough yeah. fair enough fellas all right that's it that's all we got all right when we come back we will cross talk with tyler who is uh are you in for a full ride tonight yes sir oh so we're gonna hear all kinds of songs and what else okay. my songs well, the song of the night. Song of the night. It's just one song. Questions. It's a singular song. Yeah. yeah. All, all, it is uh, all, all calls, calls welcome. welcome Friday. Yes. Okay.
I was just checking to see if Kev was asleep or awake back then. All right. Well, Tyler Aki will crash the party. He'll jump in studio with us coming up next.